Well, I'm back in Northampton today for episode 8 of Rate the Darts Venue and it's the Queen Eleanor, Wooten, Northampton. Well, the neighbours are a bit posh. Waitrose. Well, let's see. By the way, can you make out the rain? It is absolutely pouring down. But darts are an indoor sport. So let's head next door to the the Queen Eleanor and uh, see how it's looking. Well, we're here. I say next door. It's not quite next door. It's one of those that's five seconds in a car, but when you're walking, it's a little bit further. Got to pass the Premier Inn. But here now, the Queen Eleanor. A bit wet now. Let's get inside. Bit of a canal to uh, negotiate here. Not their fault, it's the weather. Let's see what's happening inside. Okay, so now if I look at the dartboard, well, my goodness. It's, so first it's a Winmau diamond. Uh, not not heard of the diamond range, but I think we've all heard of Winmau. Winmau BDO, BDO Diamond Plus. Doesn't look like the worst board. The wire's pretty profound, but in terms of quality, the board doesn't seem too bad. Maybe quite old, but in terms of condition, oh my goodness. Can you actually see this board is almost about to give birth? It is like the Himalayas. I mean, look how profound that Travel 11 is. To park a car in there. It is Winmau's answer to the Elephant Man. I mean, these uh, these wires. Look how profound that is. Quite remarkable. It's a dreadful, dreadful condition of a board, and it's got to be two out of ten. Okay, value watch. I tell you what, there is an outside chance eventually I'll get fat eating all these crisps and drinking all this beer. We couldn't have that, could we? So, £4.40 for this crisp looking pint of Foster's. And £1.20 for the crisps, which just seems to be what, 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 what every pub uh, up and down the land will charge for a bag of crisps. That's um, £5.60 for a pint and a bag of crisps. <sighs> I'm going to say 7 out of 10. So, general atmosphere, well, this place is enormous. Take you on a quick tour of it now. It's a big old uh, place, it's a, a hungry horse, so it's as much a, a restaurant as it is anything else. Um, it's a joint to a hotel, so by, by, no, by no stretch of the imagination is this place seeking to be a, a stereotypical place where you just throw darts and drink beers and whatnot, but um, plenty of space. Nice, open, friendly venue. Uh, no pool table, but we won't hold that against them. And I'm going to give, for atmosphere, I'm going to give 7 out of 10. Okay, let's look at setup. Well, we've already covered the horrific board. Let's look at the general setup. It's a difficult one, this. A few good points, a few bad points. I mean, it's well out of the way. I quite like that. I don't need the dartboard to be right in the centre of the hive of activity of a pub, that's alright. It does kind of feel like we're almost in the car park here. Bit of a dog leg within the pub here, right right down by the fire exit basically, but I'm not too bothered about that. Lights, it looks like those four spotlights would be just about perfect. If they worked. So, 
the lighting is, this is as good as it's going to get. We've got a, a mat, quite a hard wearing mat. For the record, it's completely squint to the board. I don't know if you can see that. You can actually see where the carpet is discoloured a bit. It needs moving along there a little bit, but that's no big deal. But I'd have to stand almost off the mat just to throw. Maybe that's just me. So, we've got a cabinet. No foam surround, but an old school cabinet. Don't mind a cabinet. Quite like a darts cabinet. But, for me, a cabinet is, yeah, look, can look good and holds the, the board nicely. But I want a separate solution for scoring. I want a black board or a white board or an electronic scoreboard or something. This sort of, well, by the way, has been hit by a number of darts. I hope that was thrown at double six, no double eleven. Um, yeah, these, I think if you're playing at home, if you've got one of these at home, fine, you might use that as a, a chalkboard scoring. I know that's what it's intended for. I don't really like using this as a scoring thing. I don't want to sound petty, but see if I've got a bit of chalk and I'm trying to write a score on here. The door's swinging, you know, on the hinges. So not not for me. So I've got a decent mat, decent area, bit out of the way, poor lighting got a cabinet, no surround, little shelf there, I don't know. I think for setup, I think I could, I think we give this a 7 out of 10. So it's 7 for setup, 2 for the board, 7 for value, 7 for atmosphere. So it's a 23 for the Queen Eleanor, Wooten, Northampton. So all that remains now in the Queen Eleanor is the double 16 challenge. But before I throw a double 16, I'm going to try and throw a dart here in Ben Nevis. I'll just show you how bad it actually is. I'll never hit a 180 here, but I'll throw my darts in a 180 degree mount. But anyway, for now, that's enough of that. It's a 2 out of 10 board. And I'll throw some 10 out of 10 darts at double 16. Oh, oh that is, we've got, we've got damage there. That stem is broken. That is second guard. Hey. Well, well, well. It is the worst board I've played on in the series to date, but it is by far the best performance to date. In terms of double 16 hits, it's come at a cost by the way. Here was the damage, buggered my stem. If I hadn't taken that out in the second or third dart, I'd have had to pause for a bit of running repairs, click, click, stop. But, as you can see on screen now, my double 16 average for the series, a bit healthier after that. Second dart. Do you know what? I'm going to give this board 10 out of 10. I've been so accommodating in my double 16s. Now, I'm only joking. The board is an utter disgrace. Come on, Queen Eleanor. Give the people of this pub in this area a better dart board, even though... To be perfectly honest, I'm not sure, the, I'm not sure it's particularly darts kind of pub. And fair play. Sorry, lost, lost you there. Uh, fair play to them for actually having a board. Pretty affluent area, this, of um, Northampton, Wooten. So, yeah, all's good. It takes all sorts of dartboards to make a series like this. Thanks for watching.